I'm down to my last custom job of the year. My customer wants a 3D style engraved coin with uh, some text on the back. And to do that, we're gonna have to convert the artwork into a depth map. And that's perfect timing because I've been hearing a lot about this new website that's promising great depth map conversions for laser engravers. So in today's video, we're gonna try it out on my customer's order and then compare the results to some of the other more popular options that I've used on this channel in the past. Let's get started. So let's get started by talking about the job brief. The customer sent me an email asking if I could engrave a 3D style brass coin that's gonna be awarded to the winner of their fantasy football league. And what you see on screen here is the artwork that was provided to me. It's an AI generated image of a football helmet amongst some flowers on a, what looks to be a coin face. And as far as customer artwork goes, this is the best possible starting point I could have asked for. Um, it has nice, smooth gradients. There's really deep shadows. Um, there's a lot of depth to this image. And this is really helpful because to do that 2.5 3D style engraving on a brass coin, we're gonna have to create a depth map. And this type of image really translates well to a depth map. So let's talk about that. Now I've already done a couple different videos about generating depth maps on my channel in the past, and I focused on two main pieces of software. The first being tiled Zodepth. And the cool thing about Zodepth is it's free, but the downside is the depth map that you get from Zodepth isn't really well tailored for laser engraving. There's not a lot of detail in there. You have to go into Photoshop or GIMP and add all of the details from your image back into your depth map to get a nice laser engraving. Um, after that, I moved on to depth R, which in my opinion was a step up. This is a depth map generating uh, software that was created for laser engraving. So um, you create your depth map and then it allows you to tweak how much detail you want in that image from your original image, which is really awesome. The downside of depth R for me is it can be really hit or miss. Um, for every really good one I get, I'll get a couple that are just way off and require a lot of post-processing that I wasn't expecting to do. And recently I've been hearing about a new uh, depth map generating software and I love new software so I wanted to try it out. Um, this one is called Sculpt OK. So they actually offer a couple different um, programs but we're just going to focus on the one today and that is the depth map generator. This software isn't free but when you sign up they give you a hundred credits which should be good for a couple images at least so let's try it out. After uploading my image here, it has a couple options that I can select for. I'm not gonna worry about background removal. I'll do that later myself. HD restoration, I think my image is fine, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, type of image I uploaded, I assume it's just a color image. Uh, the other two don't make sense. I'm not going to change anything for prompt, and I will click on draw. When it's finished processing, you're gonna be presented with four images. The, starting with the top left-hand side here, this is the purest form of your depth map. So this is close to what you would get from Zodepth. And it's very low detail, and it's really just showing you the light areas and the dark areas. So the helmet is the lightest, so that would be sitting up top. And then all everything else is dark and in the background, and that would be the background of your coin. Um, Moving over to the right, you get a little bit more detail. You can see more in the flowers. Um, you can see more of the W here on the helmet. Down to the bottom left, you have even more details coming through. And then on the bottom right, you have a lot of detail coming through. And we can click on 3D preview for any of these and you get an idea of what it would look like. You can change the thickness of the material you can uh, download an STL version of this image if you want. This is just gonna give you an idea of what your, um, what your engraving is gonna look like on your coin, which is pretty cool. Now, since I love details, I'm just gonna go straight for the most detailed image and we'll, we'll try that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this. When you download your image, this is when it uses the credits. Um, so you started out with 100 credits and it looks like 
to download your image without a watermark. It takes 18 credits. So you can see that you, you would get a couple, a couple images for free once you sign up. So let's go ahead and download this image. All right, here's a quick side-by-side -by -side, by side comparison of our image run through the three different depth math programs. So on the left, we have Zodepth, in the middle, Depth R, and on the right, Sculpt OK. And you can see there is a big variation between these three. Uh, for the Zodepth one, it's about what I would expect from them. Uh, it's, it's not a lot of detail. Everything's really blown out. You can see how you would need to edit this further in Photoshop or something to get some good details for, for laser engraving. In the middle, uh, looks to me to be a step up. This is the depth R result. It looks more like a coin. My only issue with this depth map is there's a lot of what I call middle gray. You can see all the gray throughout here. It kind of matches the gray in the background, kind of matches the gray in the flowers. All of those middle range colors are, oh, sorry, all those middle range tones are going to kind of blend together and you're not going to get a lot of pop off of your coin. So the, it's all going to kind of be around the same height. Um, when you're doing a depth map, you want lights, a little bit of gray in the middle and darks. Like the, that's, that's the spread that you want. And it does have some light, light areas here in the face mask and in the flowers but you would, you would want more than that. And then on the right, we have the Sculpt OK result. And this to me so far is a beautiful depth map because it has exactly what I want. Lots of nice bright areas on the focal point of the design, which is the helmet and some areas of these flowers. It has some of this middle gray colors with nice gradients, and then it fades to that dark, near black in the background. You see that how the, the back of that coin is super dark compared to this. Uh, and then if you look at the depth R one, it's not as dark. This is what's going to give you the depth, right? So that, that helmet's really going to pop off of the background of this because it's so much darker. This is a great starting point. And another thing that I will say that I could tell that this is a great depth map is how it treated the ring around the coin. Zodeth, I'm not even going to look at this one because the, the ring is basically blown out. But even in depth R, when we have this ring around the coin, we want it to, we want it to be pretty even because it's going to be a nice circle around your coin. It's going to frame the design. And you can see that with the depth R result, it's fading from dark grays to light grays back to dark grays. So it's going to be kind of uneven and it's going to look weird. But with the Sculpt OK ring, it's all basically the same exact light gray color. It's framing the design perfectly. And that's really what we want. So let's take our Sculpt OK design, do a little bit of editing, and then we'll run it. All right, I don't want to bore you with this process. So what I'm going to do is just remove the background there, get rid of this weird hole here that was probably just an AI artifact, and then run a little Gaussian blur across the whole image, just a couple pixel Gaussian blur, just to fade all the edges together nicely so everything looks smooth. And then we'll pop it in the light burn and go.
The customer also wanted some text engraved on the back of the coin, so I just went ahead and typed this up in Lightburn. I'm gonna go ahead and center everything nice, and let's run this. All right, so let's look at our finished coin here. Let me zoom in. And this is looking really nice. The helmet's nice and smooth and has a nice rounded shape to it. It's popping off the background as I would hope it would. Flowers have nice details engraved around the edge there and the background is nice and black. That brass black really helps everything pop off. And just a quick look at the back there, just some basic text. So this is the finished result for my customer. I wasn't originally gonna run an example with the other two depth maps because I didn't wanna waste a coin, but I figured, hey, let's do it for, uh, sacrifice a coin for the laser gods. So with this coin, I ran one side with Zodepth and one side with depth R. So let's take a look at our results and we'll compare them. So first we'll run, we'll look at the Zodepth comparison. Sorry, it's slippery. On the left, we have Zodepth, and on the right, we have our Sculpt OK. And you can just see the amount of detail with this one versus this. So Zodepth, I did a little bit of editing. I added some of the details back in, but it really isn't popping off too good. The helmet looks pretty nice, but it's definitely not popping like this one is. And some of the, the, the details in the background are a little muddy. Now, on this side is the depth R result. So this one I did not edit, I just kind of let it exactly out how it came out of the, the processing. And this does not look good at all. I mean, the helmet's splotchy and flat. The details in the background don't look good. It's just not a really nice result. And you can see the ring around the inside. It's, it's more pronounced over here and you can't even see it over here. So it's not framing the design very well. This just does not look good. I would, I would hate to send this to a customer. Zodef, a little bit better. But overall, this one is definitely the winner. Everything looks nice and sharp. The framing is great. The helmet looks great. Uh, I can't say enough good things about this. So is Sculpt OK the new top dog for laser depth map generation? Maybe, at least it's the one I'm gonna be using going forward. Look, generating a depth map from 3D software like Blender or Aspire is always gonna be the king, the very top, because that's what that kind of software is designed to do. But not all of us know how to model in 3D software, so these online AI conversion tools are the next best thing. I think as this technique gets more popular and as the software continues development, 
all of them are going to be really good in the near future. But for right now, I think Sculpt OK is probably my number one. If you want to try out Sculpt OK, there is a link in the video description below. As I mentioned earlier, when you sign up, you get a bunch of free credits to play around with to see if it's something that you like. Also, if you're interested in learning how to engrave coins like we did in the video today, but you're not sure where to start, there is a link to my upcoming course called Fiber Laser Ignite in the video description as well. Right now, it's just an email notification list. So when it drops, I'm going to be sending out the email. I'm probably about 50% done the course. I'm hoping to have it out by February, but we're going to go through all the basics, basic engraving all the way up through creating depth maps and doing 3D style coins and stuff like this. So if that's something you're interested in, sign up for that email notification and I'll be keeping that list updated. In any case, I hope everyone had a great year. Thank you for a great 2024 over here at Justin Laser headquarters. I much appreciate you guys tuning in. And like always, I'll catch you next time.